actually heard that stat. We haven't we haven't been 0 three since whenever, and and we weren't gonna let that happen. You know, this Mastic is a very good football team. Like they know how to play. I'm telling you, they know how to play. They got they got dudes on the team who can play. But but we just came out and we played so hard for four quarters and we just didn't let up. I've been waiting for this for such a long time now. Uh, the first two games, it, it was tough games, and I didn't get to show off to the state what I what I can do. And uh, I finally was able to tonight, and it felt really good to break free. No, no, no. Ethan, one of the one of, if not the best running back in the state, and I'll put my life on that because you know he he hasn't played a varsity football game in you know ever pretty much, and and he's been doing this since since youth, since freshman year, since since ever. So so I, I mean I could just see it in his eyes today. I knew I knew he was going to come out and do that. I knew he was going to ball out. This white's your principal. The more time a Schweitzer touches the ball for hand football, the, the better things are going to go. Um, so we want to be really creative with him getting them the ball. He's so explosive. I, I told you guys, I think he's an All-American caliber player. Um, I think he's the best receiver whoever, who's ever played at hand high school, and that's uh, that's very rare air. Um, he's also one of the best human beings I've ever encountered. Casper's in and out of the hands of Mastic's first receiver. Dumb play, you know, dumb play, you know, I, I, well, I actually dropped a couple touchdowns too, so, so, so they, they look at me after, they're like, shake it off, that's just the play, you know, get it back, so, so when I saw that ball in the air after I threw that pick, I, I knew, I knew it was mine, you know, and I got in the end zone, took a knee, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't trying to make any more mistakes, so. He's intercepted and down in the end zone. That was the game we needed him to have. You know, you see the loss of last year in different ways in different kids. And I think we saw it in him, especially just the lack of reps following his blockers, uh, you know, hitting the hole where we want him. He's so fast, he tends to outrun his pullers. And today it all clicked and he, he had the game that we needed him to have. because our whole offense is built to, to play off that. Um, against a very good team. You know, Massex put 50 on every they played. They're a perennial playoff team. Coach Christie does an amazing job. That kid, uh, Nick Sak Saku, has got to be one of the best players in Connecticut. His brother, too. Um, their, their line is mammoth, and, and that's a high-quality win against a very good opponent. That's a great team. I mean, you know, we, we no, no, no disrespect to the other teams, but that's a, that's a quality, you know, team right there. And, uh, you know, they're pounding us. I mean, you saw the game. It was like we have to be able to stop them on D a little bit. 
I mean, uh, you know, we found some stops here and there, and then we have to capitalize on offense, and, and we didn't. You know, we had a couple chances there to maybe make it a game at the end. Got the ball inside the 30, and, uh, you know, we uh, shot ourselves in the foot a little bit. But I'm proud of these kids, man. You know, this is our, this is our first jump into the 4A. I mean, you know, you know this, is, this is a different team. You ask that question, it's like, hey, hand, and then, you know, other teams too. But it's a good challenge for our kids because the game might slow down a little bit going forward.